What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. All right, so moving right along, I wanted to kind of wrap up all of the content that we've been covering in terms of automation preferences in Studio One. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna open up my preferences. I'm gonna to scroll to advanced and we'll click the automation tab. And I wanted to take a look at this parameter down here, automatically add envelopes for all touched parameters. Now, truthfully, I actually cannot recall whether this is disabled or enabled by default. If memory serves, I don't think that this is enabled. So if you did a straight install of Studio One right out of the gate, I'm pretty sure this is disabled. But regardless, I wanted to take a look at it because it's actually quite useful if you're automating. So to start off with, let's go ahead and make sure that this is unchecked and we will have a look at doing some automation. Now, I know a lot of people like to do automation by using the mouse, but if you have a controller, for example, or you just wanted to grab some parameters and automate them, for example, if we were looking at the frequency over here, then this is something that we can do in real time. So for example, if we were to automate this particular parameter, let's go ahead, let's put this into write mode and we'll go back to the start and I'm going to make some adjustments while this is playing. So we'll go ahead. I'm adjusting my frequency, but if I go ahead and push stop now and we show all of our automation, in fact, let's expand the envelopes here so we can see them a little bit better. You'll note that we don't have any automation that was written. That's because we actually have to add the parameter first. So in order to do that, I could, for example, go ahead and just toggle this. I could right click and edit the automation, or we could just quite simply drag this over here and then now we have our low frequency automation that we could automate. So now if I went ahead and did it, it acts as we would expect. We are automating the low frequency. Okay, so that works, but to be honest, if I want to automate something, I really just wanna put the plugin in the proper automation mode and I wanna get going right away. So let's go ahead, let's turn this automation off for now and we'll go ahead and we'll open up another plugin. So let's move to track two. I've got another instance of a Pro EQ that's set up over here. I'm gonna close my mixer and let's expand the envelopes on this track, maybe something like that. Now I'm gonna go into my preferences, again, advanced, automation tab and let's enable this preference. Automatically add envelopes for all touch parameters. We'll click apply and okay. So now essentially we are going to do the exact same thing. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna choose right, but this time watch what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and the minute I select this, note that the automation envelope for this particular parameter automatically added itself, okay? Let's switch this now to read mode. So this has gone back. Um, let's go back into write mode here and let's change the frequency for this over here. And I could also change this. So notice the minute that I touched a parameter, essentially any parameter that I touch, my low frequencies, that the envelope was automatically added we didn't have to click and drag and hold anything. We didn't have to right click. We didn't have to click a parameter and choose Option or Alt H. All of these parameters were simply added the minute we touch them. And that's based on the automation mode that this plugin is currently set to. So for me, having a fader port 16 or just wanting to grab a plugin parameter with my mouse, this makes the most sense. I simply set my automation mode, which is usually touch to be honest, and I just go ahead and start automating. I don't have to worry about right clicking a parameter and choosing the edit automation so that I have an envelope that can then be automated. So this is really, really useful. And in my opinion, it's a great preference to have enabled when working with automation in Studio One. It saves you that shortcut of having to add the automation parameter before you can automate it. Now, full disclosure on this, if you are the type of person that likes to edit with a mouse and you're not actually clicking and dragging parameters and doing things live or performing your automation, then maybe this really doesn't make sense to enable. But if you are using a control surface of some sort or you want to do what I did and essentially automate a plugin in real time by grabbing any of the parameters and adjusting them, then this is definitely something that you're going to want to enable. And again, that's in the preferences, advanced, the automation tab, and automatically add envelopes for all touch parameters.
Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you got something from this video. If you're enjoying this content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll do my best to get back to you and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.